They can cause a person to speak in tongues. There are three kinds of, quote, speaking in tongues. And this is something that uh, every time I say this, there's always pain in the audience in someone's case. But I'll say it anyway. There's three kinds. And this is what the authors say. The first is the authentic kind, which if you look in Scripture, it's broken down into two kinds. The first is you speak what, you, what your language and the other person hears theirs. We saw this with St. Peter. He went out, he preached, and in, in, in everybody heard their own language. The second is, is that God infuses in the individual the knowledge of, what of the language so that when they speak it, they actually know what they're speaking. There is a systematic misinterpretation of one of the parts of St. Paul about the gift of tongues in which he's, they, they mistranslated even. They say, that in the mistranslation, they say, my, um, my, uh, he says, um, my tongue speaks, but my, 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 um, my intellect contributes nothing, is one of the translations I saw. That's not at all what it says. If you actually look at the Latin, which is the only version that the church actually authenticates, but even if you look in the Greek, it's very clear. St. Paul says, I don't derive any fruit from the gift of tongues. What's this fruit he's talking about? I don't get any new knowledge from it. Okay. Now, the gift of tongues does give you the knowledge to actually speak the language. The counterpart, the diabolic counterpart, uh, trust me, I have seen this over and over and over and over again in session. The person, the demon will insert himself, he speaks languages completely fluently, the person doesn't have a clue what's being spoken out of their mouth. That is a historically, that has always consistently been all, the, in, until the 1960s when the Pentecostals had an influence in the Catholic Church, consistently that was the, the, the judgment, the principle upon which they judged whether an authentic, the person had authentic gift of tongues. Did they understand the language or not? If they didn't, it's probably diabolic. This is one of the reasons why you have to be really careful with that. The third kind is the human form. Now the human form, they've actually done scientific studies of it which is strange, they're always investigating everything it seems these days. <laughs> but what they did is they basically took people who would start speaking in tongues, and it wasn't from a diabolic cause, and it wasn't from um, an authentic cause, but what it was, it was from them, themselves. And the way they knew it was they found out that what they were speaking in tongues, they broke it down and realized that they were following the same grammatical patterns that they did in their own personal habits of speech. So that in point, in fact, it was just a human thing. Okay. The point being in all this is that the demons can actually cause a person to speak in tongues. They can 